Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, thanks again for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. It's Art Kirsch and John Coleman. It's time for our weekly founders vlog. Good morning, vlog? John. Vlog? Talk. Sure, it must have been a long weekend, John. <laughs> <laughs> it has been. How are you, Art? You look I'm good. Just, I'm just great. By, by the way, um, has anybody ever come up to you and say, hey, you're from New York. Do you know? <laughs> you. It's not do you know. It's you yeah. must know. Right? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Here we are in California. Anybody is from New York. They say, oh, you must know so-and-so. Well, no, that doesn't ring a bell. Oh, you must know them. They're but, from New York, too. And the funny thing, <laughs> funny thing is that, okay, they don't realize that. In fact, they meet, probably mean New York City, okay, or the New York metropolitan area. But right. they forget there's like an Albany, too. <laughs> well, most people in New York forget that there's an Albany. Believe me. And for good reason. Uh-oh, now we just well, lost. Look, 15, now, now we just lost 300 potential Manhattan. audience members. Yes. Yes. But that's a, isn't that common? I know you, we're both originally East Coasters. I know you've been to Miami a number of times. I think this is a typical Miami, uh, not problem, but uh, happening. Is you, if A New Yorker goes to Miami oh, yeah. and he meets somebody in Miami. Oh, do you Half know? of the people in Miami are from, from New York. New York. <laughs> right. right. So but, you know, the, actually says, the truth oh, of the matter is, know. yeah, but the half the time is you do know them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. That's Miami. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm having lunch with um, a college friend today. Who's that? Uh, my old buddy, Rich Cavallaro. I don't so know. Rich and his <laughs> wife, you don't know. But, but I know the name Cavallaro. I probably know 100 Cavalleros, but not yeah. Rich. He's not from New York. That's why <laughs> well, you don't know him. Oh, great. So, so you he's, were fooling he's me. He's from huh? Massachusetts. You're just playing with me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But anyway, so... Wait, I lived with... in Massachusetts. Rich? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it about people that we want to make that connection? We, 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 we are always looking for a connection, to even to strangers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's the end of this vlog. Yeah. <laughs> And quite I frankly, know. I, don't I don't know, know how important it is either. <laughs> oh, I think it's very important. Oh, oh it's the important. oh, it goes to the root so, of humanity. So, yes, so, so share with me, what about Rich? Where did you know him from? Did you, you knew him from Massachusetts, obviously, or not? No, I went to school with him. That's where I knew him from. So anyway, here's oh. the deal. The deal is, last time we got together, now I met him. I've known his wife over a period of five years, on and off. We get together. They're not from mm. California. They're visiting. So we got together recently, and for the first time, I found out that she's not only from New York. Yes, she really is from New York. But she lived probably two miles from where I grew up. You mean she, as, a, as a childhood? Yeah. As, as a childhood kind of person? Town. Wow. Same town, just down the street. Hmm. And... We never knew each other, and so for me it was like, I can't believe you lived in Hudson Park and I never met you. Mm -hmm. And she went, I don't know that she went to the same schools. I'm sure she didn't. But today I'm going to explore that connection with her. Who did you know that I knew, that we must know? We're two, living two miles from each other, same neighborhood, same town, New Rochelle, not a big, not Manhattan. Not fifteen million people, New Rochelle. And wasn't that wasn't that wasn't that the the nominal place where uh, the uh, Petries lived in Dick Van Dyke? I'm just saying. The weren't they new, Weren't they from the Dick Van Dyke show? Uh, wasn't weren't they, didn't they live in New Rochelle? Is that? <clears throat> of course they did. Yeah. yeah. Rochelle. And they came, Dick he came Van Dyke. In, yeah. He made it famous. Did you know him when when you were growing up? I knew the kid. Richie, you know little Richie. <laughs> Richie was a real pain, let me but, tell you. What a whiner. You know what? You should have asked this gal if she knew Richie Petrie. Really? Petrie, that's the name. I yeah. didn't hear. <laughs> I didn't remember the name. Um, well, Nourishale had a bunch of famous people. Oh, here's a little, John, here's Col a little, John Coleman, for instance. Yes, of course. Here's a little tidbit. Yeah. A little historic tidbit for those of uh, interested in the Rob Petries of the world. 
Nourishelle is the subject that of the song that George M. Cohan wrote called 25 Minutes from Broadway. Only 25 minutes from Broadway. 25 they can't, from here. In 1925. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was, he was about Nourishell. Nourishell was a popular um, suburb even then. So. By the way, just uh, before we come back to your friend, so uh, for that little ditty, I'd like to say that uh, my mother thanks you, my no. father thanks you, <laughs> my sister thanks you, and I thank right. you. Now, see, now we're playing to the older generation. Nobody of our generation knows that that was are part you of mean, the Are you some of the people who understand act. this reference are still alive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're propping them up in the back room, uh -huh. backyard. Good. Keep them. But that was Eddie Foy Jr. Eddie mm -hmm. Eddie Foy, uh, the Eddie Foy, uh, broad what what was it good vaudeville act, mm -hmm. right? He had Eddie Foy and his seven little Foys. Mm -hmm. Funny you should mention that because Eddie Foy lived in Nourishell. Did you know him growing up? I knew his I knew his property. Oh. By the time I was growing up, the big house that uh, he grew he had and his family in. Uh, was demolished. It was an empty lot, and they turned it into, years later, after I grew up, turned it into Eddie Foy Park. So oh. it's still there. Right by the Glen Island Casino, by the way. So so uh, uh, f finish up with this uh, story about this gal that you didn't know who's married to a guy that you do know. <laughs> <laughs> so I I just have to explore. That's what lunch is about today. What oh. Who do you know that I know? I mean, we... We established the fact that we grew up in the same town. We're about the same age. We must have friends in common. It's not that big. New Rochelle's a city of even today, 85,000, mm -hmm. something like that, which is, I think, considered a small town these days. Right. But it's in the, it's in the shadow of, uh, of New York City, of Manhattan. So, um, you know, anybody within a 50-mile radius considers themselves Manhattanites. Of course, yeah, the... the, the, the uh, uh... The truly interesting thing about some of that is that even though the likelihood of you knowing somebody directly, even if they're the same age and oftentimes went to the same school, maybe a grade off, is that uh, the kind of fun thing nostalgically about the whole thing is that you'll remember a common place like a diner, like the yes. diner or oh, the yeah. drive-in. Or, yeah, we've already uh, done. We've already gone through that. It was, or, or that, it was the bars. Or that great teacher, or the one that failed you both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, for us, the... for we did that last time we met. We did. Uh, when we found out we were both from the same town, mm -hmm. we went through. Uh, I said, "You lived in Hudson Park. That's right near Buzzy and Dick's." And she said, "Oh, Buzzy and Dick's. Oh well, my God, no." Oh. Buzzy, I knew Buzzy. Buzzy and Dick's. Then we talked about the barge. And uh, a lot of great bars that we went to. Remember, now growing up, you'll remember this, the drinking age in New York was 18. 18, yeah. 18. Now it's 21, I think. And mm -hmm. uh, if they're smart, they'll make it 30. See, now, if they said, did, did you know John Coleman growing up? I said, I would say no, but I knew the Tappan Zee Bridge. There you go. So, so we would have something. That's we all you just, need. Right. And that, that could be the beginning of, you know, conversation that talks about Buzzy and, and Belfry. So, yeah. so you're going to lunch today? Yes. With now both he and his wife, or yeah, oh yeah, we wow. we don't take them apart. We we love them together. They're great. a great pair. All right, <laughs> and, but and so so do you think that if, let's say maybe you dated once that you know you forgot because you've been a yeah, very, I, you're I, very I, that I'd remember you you were a very active six seven eight year old as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you. The two of you would probably try to keep tent that down. Well, it's art. It's like it's like you and I. I grew up in Westchester. You grew up in Brooklyn. Right. And there was no way the two of us would know each other or ever run into each other. Had we? Uh, and as adults, right. as adults, we still have no right. our our frames of reference are different. Right. But nevertheless, we're both New Yorkers. New Yorkers. York, right? And York. So. We can we can compare things like, oh, the IRT. Well, that was much but, better than the PMT. But you never you know? learned how to properly say Long Island, and I did. Oh, I did. I could Long Island it with the rest. Yeah, of but it. you yeah. but you only did it from a studied, practice, intelligent way. I can't help myself. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, here's here's the reality. I know you never got past Hempstead, and, <laughs> and I would go to Quag. Oh yeah, you were you were from the uh, the Quag the, and Southampton, right? right. A- after after you left yeah. the ig- ignominy of having been born in in the Bronx. In the Bronx, I know that was terrible. Yeah, so you went and you adopted like uh, the the high highbrow, uh, uh, New Rochelle, the the oh. Petri Petri's town. The Petri town. A lot of famous people lived in New Rochelle. Yeah. By the they way, wanted, your dad, your dad. No, was they wanted an, to get away from Brooklyn. Is what they. Your were dad was in entertainment, was he not? No, he was a writer. He was a uh, newspaper editor. Oh, and a writer. okay. All right, but he was a creative arts kind of guy. Yeah. As opposed yeah. to. Uh, he taught. Engineer. He taught television and radio huh? after World War II. Oh, he he wasn't like taught like tight. <laughs> yeah, he was that too. <laughs> so anyway, so you're going to say what are their names of just first names? We want to we want to preserve and their Lynn Cavaliero. Okay, so they're not in the witness protection program. Well, they should be after lunch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they have any they have any brains at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, great. So anyway, so that's the connection. Now, have you ever run into anybody like that where you found a connection that was, you were so close, but you didn't know each other? You mean like six degrees of separation? Yeah, that kind of thing. Rarely. You know, when now, somebody you knew well, everybody in Brooklyn. When, when somebody says that you grow up in, well, you're from New York, you must know. Uh, yeah. We only had eight million people, and that was a rolling eight million people. I mean, they were dying and they were coming in. And yeah. half the New Yorkers that we knew weren't New Yorkers. Okay, they became New Yorkers as adults. You know, they came in for, for jobs and things like that. And they claimed to be New Yorkers, but they're not native born. It's like when I first moved out here 30 uh, some odd years ago, when you met somebody who was actually a native born Californian, that was yes. a rarity. <laughs> it was. Now they don't exist at all. Right. And of course, oh, nobody now, out now nobody we're out, native California. Right. And and now nobody out here admits to knowing anybody from the past. <laughs> anyway. Unless they're all surfers. Well, enjoy lunch. Thank you very much. And perhaps and next... I want I want to close with, with a, a word to our viewers ah. and our celebrating Act Two supporters. I want to say keep in touch with your old friends. Explore your connections. And enjoy life. That sounds like uh, Bill Jordan. Bill, yeah, <laughs> that sounds like Bill Jordan. Yeah. Wow, you're stealing his uh, thunder. And embrace the boom. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, wrong mug. No, that that mug is reserved for taping of Bill Jordan Day. Yeah. Yeah, this is my normal uh, mug. That's your normal mug. Right. Okay. All right, Art. Uh, I'll talk to you after lunch. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.